going on everybody VT here in another event which means another post-mortem this time we're here to mourn guild bounty for the voyage home or whatever the hell it's called now I chose that word mourn kind of carefully actually because for the first time in a long while I think I may actually miss an event this one was fun it worked well and it actually felt like it had meaningful obtainable goals now that's not to say it actually had meaningful or obtainable goals but it definitely felt like there were rewards for playing you know, runes and commander emblems and everything, they actually dropped from chests at a non-Scrooge McDuck-like rate, which meant that for the first runs during the week, you actually felt like you were in a metered effort to summon that commander and actually complete the event collection. Of course, if you're like me, you opened 50 or so runes and ended up with a collection list that looked a whole lot like this. So pretty clearly, JB decided to give us the business when it came to summon percentages on that final hero. But still, it wasn't until the event was nearly over that that fact became apparent, so in the interim, it actually felt like I might have a shot at the collection legendary, and that's a fun feeling, regardless of how fleeting it is. Now there were some problems, like reward heroes being the same old forgettable band we always deal with, and you know, map cheating that JB routinely just allows to go unpunished, but twas ever thus, that's just kind of the way the game is. JB has decided to make their bed, and they're not going to punish cheaters, so people are just going to keep cheating. But then there were the server crashes. Now I have no idea what JB did in their last update, but the game is suddenly more unstable than some of my previous girlfriends. Now I'm sure they'll fix it soon. Well, the game, not my exes. There's just not a lot of fixing there. But it's still annoying as hell in the short term. Overall though, I think I'd give this one a B plus, as with the exception of the eventual rewards and all the server instability, the event was actually pretty fun and interesting up until at least the final day or so. And if we're grading on a curve considering previous events, and let's face it, considering how bad those events have been, we definitely should be grading on a curve, this one stands out for being particularly smoothly run. It didn't add a lot of innovation or much new content, but it was fun, captivating, and gave us a reason to play. And that's enough to earn a pretty high grade. So that's about it for this one. Later this week I should have another Honor Bound video up, and then I'm going to branch out into our first game, which is a game I like called Pixel Dungeon. So if you guys have any suggestions on Android games that you'd like to see on here, drop me a line, however you want to get a hold of me, and we'll go over them in the future. Until then, you know the drill. Get outside.